Okay, student, let's see what is there in this question. The diameter of the silver nucleus is approximately three times that of the diameter of which nucleus? So there is a formula given in the data booklet. Don't get confused. R is equal to R naught. A raised to power 1 by 3. So A is the mass number. And uh, this is like the radius or the diameter. One is the same thing. Um, so uh, in the case of silver, okay, first of all, let us create a formula. <clears throat> R1 by R2 is equal to A1 by A2 raised to power 1 by 3. So let us say 2 belongs to silver. So the radius of the other um, the diameter of the this is approximately three times that of this. Okay, so it means that the radius of the new nucleus divided by the radius of silver. This will be one by three. Because the radius of silver is bigger, it is three times. It is equal to the mass number is not known to us. A1 is not known. A2 is given as 108. And we want to take the cube root of this. So from this, I can say 1 by 3 raised to power 3 is equal to A divided by 108. Hence, A is equal to 108 divided by 27. And accordingly, we can get the value here. So uh, what will be this value? Um, 9 threes are 9, 12. Yes, three fours are so a is equal to four. It means that the mass number should be equal to four according to this formulation, and hence the answer will be helium. And that is why this is absolutely correct. This is how we do it. So, uh, the, the important part in this question is this formula is given in the data booklet, but my experience tells that students do not understand what is this, they don't know the meaning of the symbols there, they do not know what is this. R is the radius of the nucleus for whatever element that you talk about r naught is a constant r naught is 1.2 fermi meter and a is the mass number a is the mass number which is like the total number of protons and neutrons that is a so we plug this value there and you can literally find the radius of each and every nucleus is it okay so this is the well uh, the expression and this expression is given in your data booklet from this, we create this simple expression when we compare the radius of the two nuclei, the diameter of the two nuclei, like that. So this is how we do this. So this is Professor Varun. Thanks for watching the video. All the best. Bye.